Hey there, welcome to my channel, Mess with Michelle. I am so glad you're here and hanging out with me because I'm gonna be sharing you a really exciting transformation of my upstairs guest bathroom. And if you can tell by the title, this is a DIY modern bathroom makeover. So I just wanna share with you a few shots of the bathroom beforehand to see exactly what it looks like. And the paint color was selected by the previous owner and all the accessories from the shower curtain to the mat to even the pictures on the wall are from my previous house. I wanted to have a more beachy vibe in my old house and I took all the accessories over to this bathroom that was supposed to be just a temporary fix until we found a new shower curtain and that was well over three years ago and all the accessories shower curtains exactly the same so I'm ready to have a transformation and I'm going for a modern more natural vibe in this space and I really can't wait to share the end transformation at the end of this video so stick around because it's gonna be a great unveiling of the new modern space that I'm going for so anyone who's new here I just want to personally welcome to my channel my name is Michelle and my channel is dedicated to DIYs how-to videos cleaning motivation so if you want to have a space in a channel to hang out and just get some motivation or some inspiration for makeovers definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and everyone who has been here before I just want to welcome you back and I can't wait to show you the final unveiling of my new modern bathroom so here's a shot of the bathroom beforehand and I took everything out. I'm gonna be taking off this builder's towel bar. I'm gonna be spray painting my shower curtain rod. And I also have to address the trim around the shower here because the previous owner painted the trim of the shower. So it's half white, half painted. So I definitely have to tackle this because it's been driving me crazy for three years. And I wanna figure out how I'm gonna take it off. So I'll share with you a few different ways I tried and the most surprising way I actually was able to take off this paint. So I'm going in now, I'm just using an X-Acto knife to go around the perimeter of the towel bar that was glued on the wall with a bit of silicone to seal the edges. And I thought this was gonna be a pain to take off, but just by using the X-Acto knife and putting a bit of pressure, these popped right off. So before I went in with the spackling, I just took off any excess drywall paper that was hanging off. And I also just did a light sanding to make sure the edges were nice and smooth. So I'm taking off the builder's mirror and I'm gonna be replacing it later with a round mirror. So the preparation, to get everything nicely smooth and patched was really important because the old mirror was quite larger than the new mirror and if I didn't do this part correctly, you could possibly see a lot of imperfections that weren't getting covered by the new mirror. So the old mirror was held on by two clips on the top, two clips on the bottom, and then a bit of putty to adhere it to the wall so it wouldn't fall off. So I'm just going in with a putty knife, taking off any excess putty off the wall and I'm removing the brackets as well. And then I'm giving this a really good sanding to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Definitely the top and the bottom where the new mirror is not gonna cover. And as I was going through this process, I really noticed that the builder's paint job was just terrible. There was so much unevenness, so I had to make sure I sanded down the area as well to make it as smooth as possible. So it does take a lot of time and it did take a lot of preparation to get this right, but I'm glad that I did it right the first time so this way it looked amazing when I put the new mirror up and you can't see any imperfections. So I'm going in with sandpaper and a putty knife to try to get this paint off the perimeter of the shower. It didn't work and I don't have paint stripper. So the next best thing is nail polish remover. I thought I'd give it a shot and it worked like a charm. It took all that paint off. And after seeing this covered for three years with paint, it looks really nice and I can finally see all the white trim around the shower area. So now that everything's patched up, sanded, and cleaned, I'm going in now with Benjamin Moore Regal Select paint, and I'm using the color Silver Satin in the matte finish. And I used this paint color from a previous project in my TV room transformation, and I really liked it because it was nice, and it had a bit of a cool tone. I wanted to go for a very light color in this space, but I didn't want to go totally white. So this paint has an undertone of gray, and you're gonna see a little bit later that I do have a lot of accents that are white, so there's just a slight contrast between the wall and the shower curtain that's all white. Now I was using a trim painter around the edges of the ceiling and usually this works out pretty good for my previous projects but for some reason there was about a half an inch of paint that was not getting covered with the edger so I have to go in around the entire space and I had to freehand with my brush. So I didn't do this all on camera but I went around the entire perimeter. I manually made sure that all the edges were nice and clean and finished and then I continued on and I started using a roller on the rest of the bathroom. When it comes to my paint, I always use Benjamin Moore Regal Select and I've been using it for years. I know how it applies and I like the coverage and I just like the matte finish. I tried using bare paint in my master bedroom in the eggshell finish and it's 
totally something I would not normally get if I went with uh, Benjamin Moore, but I thought I'd give it a shot and I wasn't too happy with the overall coverage, just the way it looked overall. And maybe it's because it was eggshell as well and I'm used to the matte, but any project afterwards, I always use Benjamin Moore paint just because I know exactly what I'm in for when it comes to the coverage of the paint. Here's a shot of the first coat and the paint had great coverage, but I did go back in with the second coat just to make sure everything was totally covered from the old paint color. I'm going in now and I'm spray painting the top of my garbage with the Rust-Oleum Black Matte Spray Paint. I wanted to repurpose the garbage can because the base is already white, so I just wanted to cover up the blue trim so this way it would match with the rest of the items inside my bathroom. And I also want to keep this cost effective, so I repurposed my toilet paper stand, my light fixture as well as the knobs, and just do the same black matte spray paint to transform these items so I can repurpose them and then have them still used inside the new bathroom. With the walls drying and the spray paint drying, I thought I'd go in and build my shelf for over my toilet, and I thought this was gonna kill some time as I was waiting, but it was already pre-assembled, which I did not know, so it literally took two minutes, so it didn't kill too much time, but I was really happy that it was easy to assemble. So here's my garbage can, it's all dry. It dried for about two days. I wanted to make sure that everything was totally dry before I started taking off the tape. And I was actually feeling pretty confident. I didn't see any bleeding onto the white and I didn't see any blotchiness. So I thought this was a complete success. But after I started doing the final inspection of the garbage, I soon learned that there was a big, huge blotch of spray paint on the side. So just to salvage it, I just used white matte spray paint to spray paint the base. So this way I could still have black and white as I had intended to in the first place. So when it came to this project, I really wanted to try to keep it budget friendly and I wanted to keep the chrome faucet, but after talking to a few people and just seeing everything that I bought for the accessories, I knew that the right thing to do was to replace the faucet. So I'm using a Moen faucet here and the transformation is great and I'm so glad that I made that decision because if I kept the chrome one, I know that it was going to stick out like a sore thumb and I would eventually replace it anyways, so I might as well do everything all at once. So now it's time to accessorize the bathroom and I have to give credit to, for the inspiration behind this look and I'm going for a modern, more natural feel and this is because my neighbor just transformed her bathroom downstairs in her basement because she totally refinished her entire space and she had cool, crisp lines. I love the modern look and as soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it and I knew that I wanted to transform this space and I wanted to have that same modern feel. So I have a lot of black and white accents, but I also wanted to have some natural look as well and bring it in. So I have these small plants from Ikea that add those little pops of green on the shelf and my way of trying to make it a more modern, natural feel in this bathroom. And I think I've achieved it based on just adding these little pops of green on this shelf. Now this picture was from HomeSense and it's not something I normally gravitate to but I just loved it and I knew that it was going to look amazing in this space. And same with these pictures, these are actually from Ikea and these were just something I just happened to see just on an impulse bought them and they looked so great in this space and I'm really glad that I came across them because I really like having this little bit of artwork in this small space beside the mirror. And once again another element of green to bring the natural tones into this space. And I love these hand towels, they're from HomeSense and the hook is from Beauclair. And I just like having the nice clean look but also have a bit of black pops at the bottom of the towel to tie everything with the rest of the accessories and look of this entire bathroom. I'm really happy how my garbage can, toilet paper holder, and my light fixture turned out with just a bit of spray paint. It transformed all these items. I didn't have to spend almost anything to make it look great in this space. And this mat is from Amazon, and once again, a nice clean finish, just a bit of white, and little pops of black to tie everything in together. So here is a before shot of the bathroom, just to remind you how truly drab and not exciting this space is. And here is the final reveal of the after and I am so happy with the end result. So take a look around. I'm gonna be giving you a lot of shots of before and after, but I have achieved my look. I have that modern feel with a bit of natural element. So enjoy this tour, and I'll try to link below as many of the products I can in the description box. So if you see anything that you like, take a look there, and hopefully I'll have a link for you to check out any of those items.
I really hope you enjoyed today's modern transformation of my upstairs guest bathroom. And if you love this video, make sure to hit that like button. And just a reminder, I upload my videos every Sunday. So hopefully I'll see you next Sunday when I upload my next video.